Hey everyone, Captain Kimo here with a new video tutorial for you. This one is on texturing and I did this photo last week. Um, I got a good response from it so I decided I'm going to do it since it wasn't too hard to do. And this photo is composed of three images. The first image was an eagle shot that I took at the Bush Wildlife Sanctuary and I actually shot this through a fence. Now you can shoot through a fence if you can get close enough up to the fence and target the uh, your subject that is in a distance. Normally that will blur out the fence. You can still see it but uh, this is actually usable if you're going to process it like adding a texture or something like that. So, And the other two images are is textures. This is a uh, sort of a paper texture and I'm gonna use this for the background. I can zoom in here it's kinda got a little paper texture to it and I did create this texture. I also created this texture. Um, this will be overlaid on top to kinda give it a very uh, dramatic look to the whole image. So these two textures I created and they are available. I'll let you know later on in the video where you can find them. Um, and I took all three of the uh, photos there and I kind of merged them together to create this one image here. So let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is go to the eagle shot and I'm going to duplicate this layer and I'm going to mask out the image um, with Topaz Remask. I'm going to go here and use Topaz Remask and the reason I'm masking out the image is so that I can just affect just the eagle if I wanted to so I'm going to separate the uh, the textures from the eagle itself so this will help me to blend in the eagle how I see fit uh, to create a better um, textured image. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the compute brush here, this blue brush, and we're just going to click around here. I'm just going to hold shift while clicking and this will create a straight line and this line will go around the eagle. This won't be too long. This won't take too long. And I'm not going to be perfect here. I'm just going to go around the eagle. And that should be good. Now I'm going to use the, this is the remove tool. This is the remove bucket here and I just hit this area and this will uh, tell it to uh, tell Topaz Remask that I don't want this area and just to keep the green area so the green area is what it's going to keep. If I hit the compute button it's going to compute the mask and this is going to be the mask that we're going to be using and I go into keep and it'll show me what it's going to keep. So that looks good. I'm just going to hit OK. And now I have my mask. Let me go ahead and close out the two other images below us. And this is the eagle and with the cutout. Um, next what we're going to do is we're going to go to the paper texture here. I'm just going to go ahead and um, hit Control A, Command A on a Mac and just copy. Copy it and then I'll just paste it into this image here. Now I'm going to drag this behind or below the uh, the eagle layer with the mask and uh, this is going to give us the, the paper texture. Um, next I'm going to take the other the other texture here. I'm going to go Control A or Command A on a Mac, copy it and then go in back into the eagle and paste it on top of the eagle and then I am going to uh, change the transparency mode here and I'm going to change it to soft light so I'll click soft light and now you can see the uh, the texture it's starting to look good um, next I'm going to duplicate the eagle with the mask I'm just going to hit control J command J on a Mac and that'll duplicate that layer and then I'm going to take that layer and I'm going to bring it to the top here and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to change that layer also I'm going to change the transparency mode on that layer I'm going to change it to soft light as well and then it, it'll give it more of a contrast in the eagle alright so we're actually almost done it's actually looking very good um, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to duplicate this layer again I'm going to just duplicate this eagle shot with the remask and I'm going to use Topaz adjust here and I'm just going to use a preset here. The preset that I'm going to use is under adjust for preset list and I'm going to use the clarity preset and then I'm going to hit OK. Next we're going to change the uh, transparency mode on that layer there. We're going to change it to luminosity and this will bring back the aggressive detail from clarity but I don't want it to affect the whole layer. Now it looks good but uh, I'm going to create a layer mask here and I am going to hit Control I, Command I on a Mac and this will fill in the layer mask with black hiding the, uh, the topaz adjust effect and I'm going to use the paintbrush tool. Make sure it's on white here, the white foreground and I will be painting back in the uh, that topaz effect around the head area because that's really where I want my image to be more dramatic. I'm going to change the opacity to about 25% about actually. I'm just going down to 25% and, and then I'm just going to paint right around the, the head of our eagle here. Okay so that looks that looks nice so you get a lot more detail in the head and then 
this is the before and this is the after. And so now the last thing we're going to do and this is just to create a curves layer and I'm just going to bring down the whole um, image. I'm going to bring down the darkness of the whole image a little bit. And that, that, that looks pretty good. So and that's pretty much it. So to create this photo we took this eagle shot here with this background texture as the uh, paper texture and this texture as the uh, overlay and we created this image from all three photos. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Use the, or if you're watching this from YouTube, use the link below to get access to the two textures and the eagle so you can work with this um, tutorial. If you haven't already done so, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, visit my website at captainkimo.com to learn more about uh, the software that I use like Topaz Remask and Topaz Adjust. And if you're interested, I do have premium tutorials. Um, that includes 100 textures. Uh, and you can learn more about that on my website at captainkimo.com. So until next time, this is Captain Kimo signing out.